Things will never be the same until we know the truth. Who killed the people in their houses? Who allowed the ammonium nitrate to be kept at the port? We are still waiting for the truth and for justice. Without the truth, we are a country with no justice. And if we are in a country without justice, we are not a real country. Thank you so much for speaking to us on this important day. Uh, the question of accountability just keeps surfacing all the time. Why has nobody been held accountable one year on? Well, this is uh, seen to be Lebanon. Uh, so th there is a lot of acquisition, but there is no real suspect right now. There is a lot of investigation. There is special court been in, uh, in charge of leading that investigation. But there is a lot of obstacle because of the political establishment in Lebanon. They refused to yield to the uh, special uh, justice that put in charge of this investigation. Uh, you know, the political uh, situation has been open without government for almost a year without accountability on not on this issue, on many issues, the security of the country, the economic of the country, the prosperity of, uh, of this country been in question. And to that effect, we've been waiting a justice for this incident and other uh, major issue reflecting the interest of the people. So uh, today, the Lebanon really been under siege from internally from and from uh, external events surrounding the country, and that led to this uh, process not to bring uh, real uh, uh, answer to this uh, horrible, horrible event that took many lives and an explosion thus been considered one of the, the largest in the world. And Kamal, why is there such an inability to form a government? Why is there this, this paralysis? Well, some of it has to do with local issue, and some of it has to do with regional uh, issues, and some of it has to do with the international issue. You, you know that the, the, the Middle East has been in, in war, torn apart. Uh, has reflected on in Lebanon. So there is a lot of alliance, different alliance in this country to different regions of the world. And basically, there is a deep division within the country. And that, that division, uh, basically, without a meaningful compromise to the interests of the people, has been hindering to uh, the, 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 to have a government, a, a government that work for us today, we are really in a dire condition. We don't have electricity. We don't have medicine. Uh, most of our uh, people's doctor, nurses, uh, professional people been emigrating. So really, we in a state of despair. And it seems that the international community, even they given some some uh, uh, some help, but this is in a small scale. Uh, I think we need to do a lot of work, and the international community has to come and help this country. This country, really, this is the worst I have ever seen. And I've been through a lot of war in this country, and this is really, there is there's a lot of despair, and there is a lot of anger. And, uh, and in my mind and my analysis, we haven't seen the worst yet. Thank you so much, uh, Kamal Wazner, for sharing your thoughts on this important day. We appreciate your time.